this video, we're going to cover uh, creating dimension groups using custom fields. Uh, my name is Susan DeLoyer. I have eight years of experience on the Intact product, and I'm one of the main uh, implementers over here. I've done over 60 different implementations. So today we're going to follow the example that a client has uh, the need for identifying a division when it comes to their entities and locations. The goal here is that they don't need to tag that as a data point on their transactions. There's a one-to-one -one relationship with the entity or location to a division. Um, so we're going to create groups. So this company has a general contractor division and then a subcontractor director division. We'll create custom fields on both of those objects and then we'll create groups that are going to look at those custom objects and then we'll show you how that pulls into a financial report. So my first step is to go into platform services. I'm going to add a custom field. Uh, I have to do two because entity and location are a shared dimension. So the custom field must exist in both places to have them populate. We are going to do a pick list. Uh, we're not going to do a multi select because in our instance, uh, the company or location is only either a general contractor or subcontractor. I'm going to make a pick list. We are going to call it division. Options or general contractor. We can have as many values as we need. We just need to um, put them in a list. We can choose to make the first value a default. Uh, we can also sort the list alphabetically. I will say if you use the first value as a default, this is a go forward. It will not um, go back and historically add that field to existing data points. So we're going to go ahead and sort it alphabetically. I could put additional description talking about what I'm trying to accomplish, but it's necessary. Um, I'm going to create a separate tab for this so that um, we'll just call it division. So it's not tucked at the bottom. And we're going to require this. We don't want this to be missed. So I'm going to hit done. And then I need to create it on location, so I'm going to duplicate this. And then I am going to pick location. Here's our location. I'm going to make the field match. And we will also create a division tab on this one. All right, let's save that. All right, so we're, we're going to go and add those data points to our entities and to our locations. So let's edit this one. We have our division tab now here up the top, makes it really quick for me to get to the save. I also created a view that's looking at that field so I can see what I have completed. I will say this this type of custom field is actually quite common. Um, it is a great way. Let's make that one a general. Uh, it is a great way to create more visibility into groupings without having to um, use a dimension for this, um, especially if it's a one to one relationship uh, with other data points in the system. So let's call that one sub all of these GC. And the goal is that I want to run a, a profit and loss statement uh, by each of these groups. And I did not create that view here. Let me create that view so I don't miss any. 
division is right here. We have a view called width division, so I had to make it unique. Pick it. All right, so I'm right here. And this is something easy to set up at the beginning because this can be imported on one of the data templates. Um, this only looks cumbersome because I'm going back and adding it. Uh, at Sakai, we do have resources to do this through the API so that I wouldn't have to do this, but um, just so that we understand the exercise that I'm accomplishing here, um, I think this makes a lot of sense. OK, last one. So now we have added our data tag. So we're now going to go into reports and we're going to create a dimension group. So we're going to create a location group because remember location and entity live together. Um, we are going to create our first group is going to be the GC group. And I either like to capitalize this or put the word group because in some fields you will see this on reporting the ability to choose either a group or an individual location or entity. Um, and so here I'm going to pick my custom field division. We're going to say it equals the value of general contractor. We're also going to make this a dimension structure and not to get into too much about this, but this allows us to pull it into a financial report. So I'm going to save that. And then we're going to create our subgroup. All right. If I want to quickly check who's in my groups, I can look at members. And this shows me all of the entities and locations that have been tagged with the general contractor division. And the same thing with this group. You can see everything that has been tagged with a subcontractor. So my data is complete on my groups. Now I can go create a financial report. Um, and L by dimension group. I have a couple of options. I could do something where I do it by dimension and I put those groups down the left. I just want a financial report. I'm going to want to do the um, groups on the columns, so I'm not going to do anything but a standard. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to create a row. We're going to look at net. Um, I'm going to set this to I got to trick it for a second. I'm going to set it to summary. And let's just collapse everything because we don't need to see all of this detail in our example. All right. OK, so we'll go into columns. And so this column is going to be our accounts and our count name, our count numbers and names. This is going to be current month for our. Uh, hold on. For our GC group. We're going to add a column to the right. We are going to say that this is for our subgroup. OK, and then maybe I just want a total column to the right. We're just going to leave that with no filtering. So we are going to hard code this for 2020. I believe that's the data set. And if we go ahead and preview this report, I did not get the right data set. So let's go back. Maybe it's 1231 2019. You're making me look bad. Let's just go run another PL real quick. It's saying 331 2020. Okay, let's try that. Nope.
2021-2020 review. There we go. So that group that we added allowed us to summarize. So we pulled those data together. We have the GC group, the subgroup, we have the total. Um, we can also use dimension structures like down the left, like I showed. You can have like revenue and have it broken out by dimension structure. You could have it, you know, be cost of sales broken out by revenue or by the dimension structure. So we have all of that functionality available. Um, and instead of losing a dimension that we could possibly repurpose for some other business need, um, we are able to accomplish it through a uh, custom field and a dimension group. Reach out if you have questions. Thanks.